welcome back to the channel and welcome to the video. If you saw our first two videos, we went through the installation process on a 2021 Hyundai Palisade, and that included doing the unboxing of a Comma 2, doing the hardware installation in our Palisade, as well as the software installation for OpenPilot. Our second video, we did a first drive with using OpenPilot on the Palisade and we gave our impressions of that. Feedback we've received from that video, especially on the Palisade forum, is that people want to understand what are the differences, and so here we are with this video to provide that side-by-side -side comparison between the stock Hyundai system and the open pilot system. There's a lot of different scenarios once we started thinking about how to do this comparison. We realized there's all these different driving conditions that we'd like to compare. So we're going to split it into multiple videos, at least two videos, maybe more. For today's video, what we're gonna focus on is under 55 miles per hour driving conditions. So things like city driving, country roads, that type of stuff. As you're about to see, there are clear differences between the stock Hyundai system for these driver assist features versus the open pilot system. Let's go ahead and watch the videos and I'll add some commentary along the way. Then afterwards, I'll give my impression overall and draw some conclusions. Okay, here we are starting off on some curvy city roads uh, that range between 30 and 35 miles per hour. And we start off just on a kind of straightaway here. So you can see me reaching for the wheel already around the first turn with the stock system, um, which was not all that sharp of a curve. So already the confidence with the stock system is much lower compared to OpenPilot, which has handled the road quite seamlessly at this point. You can see with the stock system I've taken over at this point, had to reset the smart cruise control. And I'm, again, helping the stock system around this curve. I also did not speed up to the full speed limit of 35 miles per hour on this stretch. For the stock system, I did for open pilot. Um, since the stock system was struggling, I kept it at 30 miles per hour, roughly. So you can see open pilot is entering what is a rather sharp curve here. Um, I believe I did slow it down to 30 miles per hour for this. And you can see it handles the curve quite well. No need for my intervention. And now the stock system is entering that curve and it uh, failed quite miserably. In the middle of the turn, it disengaged without warning, which I thought was actually extremely dangerous. Um, so I had to take over entirely for the stock system in the middle of that curve without warning. Okay, now here we are on just a city street. Um, that is actually only 20 miles per hour. It's a neighborhood in Boulder. And coming up is a very sharp turn. And in the middle of this turn, the lane lines, uh, the center line disappears for quite a ways as well. You can see the stock system just completely did not handle the situation. You can see open pilot now going around it. Um, it handles it, not perfect, um, but it does safely get you around the corner. Uh, the stock system's a little bit further along in the timeline here. It's coming around now a left curve um, where there's a lot of cars parked on the street. And at this point, I just don't really trust the system to give it full control, so I'm helping it around these, this curve. 
whereas open pilot is making it around that curve. Okay, here we are on a city driving situation. Um, it's actually a 45 mile per hour speed limit in this zone uh, with three lanes in this part, which I believe goes down to two lanes eventually um, with a fair amount of traffic in the stock video. Not so much for open pilot, at least at this point. You can see both systems are handling the situation well, just kind of driving straight along. Here we are through another section of city type driving, uh, 45 mile per hour speed limit in this section. And we start off just with kind of a gradual curve there coming up to a stoplight that had turned green. So we're just following cars in both videos. So it makes it very comparable situation for this. Now one thing about this section of road is there's parts of it that don't have good lane lines. You can see with the stock system I was struggling to engage it because it really depends on having those lane lines well defined to even engage it whereas open pilot does not require lane lines at all in fact even if you are using the lane version of the model rather than the laneless it still does not need lane lines. So you can see I'm just struggling to even trust the system for the stock. I'm helping it along frequently, despite that we're just following this car in front of us. Whereas open pilots handle the road quite well. It's not that simple of a road, um, just due to the curves, the changing lane lines, the left turn lanes, things like that. You can see stock system again, I had to help it around the curve. This isn't even a very sharp curve. Um, but again, I think just because of the lane lines not being very well defined on both sides of the lane, it really struggled. Here's another section of rather windy road coming up. I believe speed limits are on 30, 35 through these curves. As you can see immediately, the stock system is struggling. I'm taking over um, open pilot. I'm occasionally adjusting the set point for the speed. That's the only reason I'm touching the wheel for open pilot. Whereas the stock system I felt uh, like I had to intervene. And it's worth commenting that in the open pilot video you can see uh, my wife riding in the vehicle with me and our kids are actually with us too whereas I did not want to do that with the stock system in terms of filming for this comparison um, just because it is not as robust. I did not want to rely on it with my family in the vehicle. And 
again, just so you can see with the stock system, I'm constantly having to help it along. Just basically unreliable for this type of driving. So there you have it, the side-by-side -side comparison of the stock Hyundai system driver assist versus open pilot in a 2021 Hyundai Palisade. Hopefully you saw the differences through the video. It's hard for me to know how well um, those differences came through to the viewer. As the driver myself, I can tell you certainly the sort of sense of ease and the reliability of open pilot having control is significantly more than relying on the stock system. I never really felt like I could fully relax with the stock system, knowing its limitations. It's, there's just a certain aspect of it that's unpredictable in terms of when it's going to fail or not be capable. Um, whereas with open pilot, yeah, I can't do everything, but it seems more predictable in terms of what it can and can't do. The stock system just had this unpredictable aspect to it that just put you a little bit uneasy when you're trying to drive along, which kind of defeats the point of having these driver assist features. You know, some of the terminology of the system, like lane keep assist, for example, is what they call it with the Hyundai system. That really is an accurate way to describe it. You really, as the driver, need to just be driving and focus on the task of driving, and the system will help you stay in the lane, for example. Expect the smart cruise control system is quite good, and the implementation of Open Pilot on this 21 Palisade does still rely on that system. So that aspect is quite good, obviously, in the stock system to the point where Kama AI is willing to rely on that. But the lane keep part of it is it really is just an assist system, whereas when you couple it to Open Pilot, it is more of what I would call a driver assist, where it's really helping perform and automate the task of driving and not just assisting you as a driver. So that's kind of how I would describe it from my experience being in the driver's seat with it. And we're periodically on the wheel, especially um, with the stock Hyundai system. So I should comment that anytime I was touching the steering wheel wasn't necessarily an indication that I was taking control. Oftentimes I was or at a a minimum I was helping it along but sometimes it was just because I didn't trust the system in whatever the situation I was in obviously we're doing this on public roads I'm not gonna put other people at danger for the sake of making some video so we're trying to be as safe as possible but also kind of test these systems and see what they're capable of so I just wanted to say that just because I was touching the steering wheel didn't always mean I was taking over control but it often did mean that in the case of the stock system so there you have it let us know your impressions. If you have a Palisade or another vehicle, let us know your first-hand experience of testing these two and comparing them. How do you think Open Pilot performs compared to the stock system on your vehicle? And we're going to do another video of over 55 miles per hour. And I do believe the Hyundai stock system is more comparable to the Open Pilot system in terms of some of its capabilities on highway type driving over 55 miles per hour. But we'll see. We're going to make that comparison video 
similar to this one in its format and we'll see how those two compare. If you like this video, found it useful and interesting, please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.